Phelan played it like three or four times in a row. We were crying. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sequence of <laughs> bad decisions and horrible editing. <laughs> From the writer slash director of Fly and Ryan comes Purple People. No, I'm gonna say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> From the writer slash director of Fly and Ryan comes Purple People Leader. Shirley made some masterpieces, didn't she? <laughs> This certainly was a movie. It feels about twice as long as it really it is. is. It, like, if you summarize the plot, it's short, because there's really not much of a plot. No, there's not <laughs> a lot <of> content-wise. <laughs> I guess to explain to people, uh, there was a novelty song in 1958 called Purple People Eater. You've probably heard it, but if you haven't, you're gonna hear it a lot in this movie. <laughs> 1988 they decided to make a movie based on this song, but they don't want it to actually be a people eater So he eats purple people Because uh, this is a baby yeah. movie for babies yeah. <laughs> Mr. Purple people eater, what's your life? Oh, eating purple people and it sure is fine And you know how many purple people show up for him to eat? Zero. <laughs> That's on his home planet. They don't have purple people here. That'd be just silly failing. <laughs> yeah Oh, they were like painting themselves like right before he showed up. Like, oh. what if his purple paint and he oh, just showed up and ate them? Oh, he mixed up and he ate I remember seeing this scene on TV as a kid and it uh, terrified me. So I just thought I would note that so that y'all knew. Pretty scary. He's a monster. He's a disgusting monster. <laughs> this thing should be killed the moment it shows up on Earth. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris is a little boy named Billy of ambiguous age. He is hanging out with his grandpa who is watching the kids while his parents are on a European work yeah. trip of some sort. Yeah, his parents and his older sister are just in this movie to say, hey, we're leaving. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just say that like, his grandpa was raising him and just simplify things like it seemed kind of useless that yeah. they introduced this plot element and they never come back to it There's no, no like, you never story the parents never return to the movie neither is the older sister yeah, they went on a on a work trip to europe and during the course of that time he meets an alien starts a band and gets a record contract Be sure to hold her, hold her to yeah. Apparently unbeknownst to the parents. Yeah, and you know, it's like when you leave and then you come back and everything's changed. <laughs> it's like, like oh, parallel. aliens exist by the way. Yeah. Uh, little Richard is our mayor, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm unclear about that if he's actually Little Richard. Yeah, yeah, the, the mayor in this movie is Little Richard. There's either <laughs> two Little Richards because they mention Little Richard in this movie. Little Richard! And play his music all the time. Yeah. So there's two of him, or just little Richard is their mayor. You can decide which fate is scarier. <laughs> While they're fixing stuff up, they're playing oldies music, and Neil Patrick Harris puts on Purple People Eater, which is a song in their universe. And Which somehow, I guess was a historical documentation of some yes. alien encounter in this context. <laughs> did um the guy who did the song, who also plays like a circus owner or something in this, did he encounter Purple or one of his race uh, at some point in the past and then record the song about it? And it became a, a summoning spell <laughs> for this creature. Yeah, like it's super unclear at first, like, because he puts the song on, then you see all these, like, purple sparklies, and then you just see this weird purple beam shoot down, and the thing appears, and it's like, is this just, like, an evil conjuring, or did it come from space? You really don't know for a while until they confirm alien. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> when they start talking about the fact, like his race and all of that, and, and then you were like, oh, I guess this confirms he's an alien and not an evil conjuring. <laughs> and this is like two thirds of the way into the film before it's like, I, I guess he's an alien. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because a lot of the movies just them dinking around at first, like him getting his grandfather and they're painting rooms really shittily. <laughs> yeah, see, it, it seems like they're setting something up with like Neil Patrick Harris. First of all, he's kind of a, a daydreamer. This kid's always daydreaming. He's yeah. kind of like off in his and own And he world. rescues a bunch of animals. Yeah, he rescues a bunch of animals. And these are things you would think they're setting up like, oh, he always takes in a bunch of animals, so maybe he'll take in the alien and then get in trouble for taking him in. That never comes into play. No. Um, the fact that he's a daydreamer, it's like, oh, he'll be like, he's an alien and no one will believe him because he's kind of like off in his own world that never comes into play it's very unclear whether the grandpa understands he is actually an alien donna overheard billy say that purple was from outer space wow that's a whole lot of money they think for some p period of the movie that the alien is just a friend of his in a costume but he never takes it off at any point. Yeah, that's like the most believable part of the movie, I guess, is when the other people see this disgusting thing and they just think it's a person in the suit. You know, Billy, it isn't very healthy talking to animals as if they were real. So there's a nosy neighbor and she says, it's really unhealthy that you talk to animals as if they're real. I think she's the one with the problem is she thinks animals aren't real. <laughs> like, that's, a, that's a nonsense thing to say. And then Neil Patrick Harris has the most depressing delivery in return where he says they are real. But they are real. And he leaves. He and plays then... Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> He's very depressed at the beginning of this for some reason. I'm not sure yeah. why. He kind of like takes a back seat though once the alien shows up for a long period because it's like it's mostly about him until the alien shows up and it's about the alien being stupid for alien a long time. shuffling stretch. around and tootly tooting his little notes yeah. out of his horn. <laughs> yeah, you actually see stupid musical notes shoot out of it. It's so stupid. <laughs> The neighbor is nosy and the daughter who looks exactly like her and when she's peering over the fence I did not know that this was the small child. I thought it was the adult neighbor. She overhears him telling one of the other little girls who's part of the band I think. Like it feels like she should be a character but really isn't. And so he says that oh don't tell anyone but purple <laughs> is an alien. And then the little neighbor girl tells her mom. She comes and tells the grandpa and the grandpa doesn't seem to care. No, because he's <laughs> fixed on the record deal or something. Yeah, they play at a wedding and then a record producer is the father of the bride, which means they can play with Chubby Checker at yeah. some point. But I mean, just listen to Purple sing and you know why everyone wants to sign him to a record deal. <laughs> you know that new sound you've been looking for? Listen to this. this. <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> 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 This thing Beautiful. is so annoying. <laughs> it, they explain though, he only knows oldies because it takes 25 light years for the songs to get to his planet. Mm, um, even though they can come here apparently really easily. Yeah, it takes them like two seconds to get to the planet. How long did it take you to get here? Faster than light! Later, dude. What about the, the villain in this, huh, Phelan? <laughs> the guy who owns like the old folk housing and he just keeps coming like he bursts into their apartments all the time like <laughs> hey guess what rent's going up <laughs> and don't forget just because you're not going to be here you still have to pay rent each month uh by the way i'm raising everybody's rent and i heard a nurse spent two nights here and uh 
You know, I do have a $20 charge per guest per night. He wants to kick the old people out because he wants to make this like an upscale rich neighborhood and he thinks yeah. like rich young people don't want to live with old people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so he's like, just keeps upping the rent. And this is a problem for uh, Ned Beatty's love interest, Shelley Winters, who gets top billing despite <laughs> barely being in this film. What is the point of being? I want to die in my own home among my own things. She passed out because she wasn't eating or something. Yeah. <laughs> that was right after the like, oh my god, my little girl hurt her. Your kids say that aliens yeah. are real. Yeah. They're like, ha ha ha, this is wacky. And he's like, yeah, we got a record deal. Yeah. Bring, bring, bring. She's real sick. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly Winters might be dying. <laughs> they act like this is super dramatic. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> Rita. Good old Rita. Good old Rita. Rita, Rita Repulsa. Rita Repulsa. <laughs> <laughs> Make my monster ugly! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid one-eyed monster piece of shit. <laughs> I had Finster create purple! <laughs> I could see that garbage on Power Rangers. Oh my god, he'd fit right in. Yeah. <laughs> he'd be hanging out with Squatty Appleseed. <laughs> I'll be a regular Squatty Appleseed. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. Eggs! I want eggs! Eggs! Give me the eggs! 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 eggs. This fucking purple thing, I got real, like, Alpha vibes from him. Oh, like, yeah. Like, he sounded exactly like Alpha, and he kept talking to Billy. Pleasant dreams, Billy. It's so weird because first it shows up and it only like communicates through its stupid horn, like blowing it out its horn. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then it just starts be, talking. Well, it seemed to be speaking in rhyme for a brief period, and then they gave up on that, yeah. and then he's just talking. I have a theory that this was just a temp voice they were going to use because this is Concord, so this is um. Cheap. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, uh, Roger Corman, so they're super cheap. This was theatrical, so 1988, around Christmas, you could have seen this movie. That would be so sad, going to the theater to see this. <laughs> it would be. The voice of Purple is a, is a puppeteer on mm -hmm. the movie, and he did a few things, including one of the Scolari brothers in Ghostbusters 2. Yeah, most notably. <laughs> yeah, was, and he was a puppeteer on this, so I feel like this was a temp voice, and they just couldn't afford a bigger name, or they're like, yeah. that's fine. It, let's just pitch it, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of very cheap things about this movie, except for the music licensing. They mm. had a lot of like, which is why it wasn't on DVD Maybe for a long time. Maybe Little Richard gave them a deal because he's like, "Oh, put me in the movie." Oh, for <laughs> sure, he gave them a deal for. But they only licensed one of his songs. It yeah. was just um, "Good Golly, Miss Molly." Yeah. <laughs> So they had to do that joke like a few times. <laughs> They're like, we have to use this. Because yeah, Neil Patrick Harris's little sister in the movie's named Molly, so they get to use that one. They did the same thing in that Baywatch episode. Yeah, they it's, had a character it's a great named Molly, joke every time. And then they had Little Richard playing a character who may or may not be actual Little Richard. He's <laughs> doing a random job. They were inspired by purple people eater, apparently. <laughs> Is that most of his roles? Like, he may or may not be himself in it, you don't know. This like little Richard just going around doing a bunch of weird jobs. I'm the mayor of this place! I'm gonna go work down by the beach! And... A victim seniors is not right and it shouldn't be allowed. And, and it's not gonna happen! No, no, no! I'm gonna call for an emergency vote from the city council! I don't think little Richard has another mode. I feel like they were like, he's the mayor, and they gave him a normal line. And he's like, I gotta say all my lines like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna declare that they can't evict anyone because they're old. <laughs> The greatest part about this. Little Richard, yeah, and Scooby-Doo and this, Scooby-Doo is also taking a weird job and he's selling hot dogs called Law Dogs, so Scooby-Doo has like a whole judge wing on. Why does anything happen in this movie? That's because they were having a very funny chase scene when the the perverted guy <laughs> was it, it was yeah. raising the the rent prices. He chased him and he kidnapped him so that they couldn't do the benefit concert. 
<laughs> and then they, he chases him, he does his little shuffle run. He kidnaps him, he escapes. They do a chase scene. <laughs> The car that the uh, that the purple people eater has stolen and yeah. done all of this and he's, damage. He's wrecked the shit out of this car. He takes it through a, a car wash and stuff. <laughs> yeah, all of the money that they are earning from this concert is going to go yeah. to all the destruction of property yeah, on he, the way over. He, he's like driving through all these things. There's like this giant card set up. He just smashes through that, and, like smashes yeah. through the garage door of whoever's place he stole this car from in the first place. He's such an asshole. <laughs> Oh, he also, he cried when he was kidnapped. Oh, that yeah. That was very good. Yeah, that was, that was like one of the funniest parts of this movie. <laughs> and then a woman on a horse shows up. Come on, your friend is looking for you. Whoa, horsey. Like, this is not a character in this movie. Like, Neil Patrick Harris meets her, and he's looking for purple at this point, and he just mumbles, and then oh, looking for a purple thing, oh, never mind. Yeah. But she's like the hero. She's the yeah. only reason the stupid purple piece of shit gets out of there. She comes like, hey, your friends are looking for you. Jump on my horse. And then she rides off into the sunset, never to be seen again. She didn't even go to the concert. No, she didn't. She's like, I don't want to hear that. She, she went to the, uh, the Chubby Checker concert. And then she heard Dustin Diamond say, hey, everybody, do the purple. And she's like, I've seen enough. Yeah. So come on, everybody, do the purple. Hey, everyone, do the idiot. You're gonna have to find that clip now. <laughs> find it. Hey everybody! Come on, let's do the idiot! <laughs> uh, <purple. laughs> Come on, everybody, do the purple! Okay, they're having the concert because if they can raise enough money, he can evict all of the old people, I guess. Everyone from all over the world has shown up. <laughs> this is like world news. They have yeah, the old flags. The flags? Section like, oh, kids do dumb concert to try and save senior home. Ooh, well, this brought the world together. We gotta see yeah, this. Yeah, who needs you? Culture sweet and tough. He said, eating purple people and a jury is fine. It was a one eyed, one horse fly purple people eater. One eyed, one eyed, one horse fly purple people eater. I like such a groovy little people eater. What a sad to see. They sing like the world's worst cover of Purple People Eater. Like, the Purple People Eater movie had the worst cover of it. But before that, okay, they're setting everything up. Um, little Richard shows up and he's the mayor. There's no introduction. He is just there and he is the mayor. And then <laughs> at the very end, like the best sequence of events happen. Yeah. It was insane. We find out little Richard is an alien too. <laughs> Here's where the like, the, the bizarre editing of this film comes into play. He's doing his announcement about the evictions. <laughs> and then you hear the sound of the car coming, but he has not arrived yet. Little Richard turns and reacts, opens his mouth. It's like invasion of the body snatchers. <laughs> it's amazing. And then you hear Phantom Neil Patrick Harris before he teleports. Yeah. Hey, in Purple. The next shot. <laughs> purple, you made it. <laughs> yeah, they just jump cut him in. He starts talking, and then suddenly he's there beside <laughs> it. <laughs> Phelan played it like three or four times in a row. We were crying. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sequence of <laughs> bad decisions and horrible editing. <laughs> This is the Concord uh, seal of uh, quality here. Yeah. You got like the, the car chase where clearly they intended him to run into the pole, but they couldn't afford it because they licensed out all this music. So it's just like, yeah. Eh, I guess I'm changing a tire. I don't know yeah. why I've been stopped at this point. It's pathetic. Yeah, he just drives towards a telephone pole and then stops gently. <laughs> just like, Whoa. Yeah, there's a part where they're like in a a roundabout it's like all oh, right time for the low speed car chase mm, then, and, <laughs> and they, they cut, speed up the footage. yeah they cut back and they've sped it up <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, Phelan. All right. Wait, there's a top three moments in this movie. Okay. So you got the little Richard bit. You got him crying when he's kidnapped. And then you have Grandpa, what's it feel like to die? Yeah. Grandpa, what's it like to die? I don't know, Billy. <laughs> amazing, amazing that line is in this movie. <laughs> So you have like funny little hanging out, having dinner with the purple people eater. He's doing his little tootly toots and he does like his shitty ass song for the, the landlord who just wanders in like, Hey, what's up, buddies? <laughs> you know how I said rent was going up? Uh, just kidding. Get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly Winters keels over and all of a sudden it's like <laughs> a very special episode of Purple People Eater. And she's being wheeled away. <laughs> Patrick Harris, Grandpa, what's it like to die? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this movie's Why? fucking genius, man. <laughs> it's astounding that lines in there. Just like, what is that supposed to bring up in the context of this movie at all? I don't, I don't, I don't know why that question gets asked. <laughs> Well, because she, he, he thinks that she's dying. I like, know, she's but not gonna like, make it. it doesn't. It, it's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> the t yeah, the tonal shifts in this movie uh, are quite bizarre. I don't understand. Also, this doesn't have to do with that, but like, they're having like their summer pool party. Why is there lady in, like a pet park? <laughs> She's gonna die. They're gonna have more old people being wheeled away. Like, yeah. they're, they're all being murdered in this movie. <laughs> like, it just the fucking purple people leader in the first place. Just his little shuffle. Yeah. It's disgusting. <laughs> like, even the ugliest Muppet would look at this thing and be like, you need some work. <laughs> There was a, a harrowing rescue also when um, the little sister and the uh, the wiener dog, Longfellow, right. they're on the balcony and the wiener dog's in a stupid little outfit and then he wanders between uh, the, the post. The post, yeah. And so Purple People Eater has to jump up there and fly with his stupid little fairy wings. This is also where like the, the neighbor and her look-alike daughter have a weird face turn and they're they're dressed like they just came from a luau or yeah, something. Yeah, they went for... to a luau, and then they were like, um, they had no choice but to come to the alien. So they, they had to become good guys in order to save the wiener dog and I guess the daughter. I guess. She's just kind of a bonus. This fucking alien. He could have saved her so fast. He could have gotten to the concert so fast. He yeah. says that it takes him like two seconds to get to his home planet. Uh, even though radio waves take 25 years. So if he can go to fucking outer space yeah. <laughs> in two seconds, he can get to this benefit concert. He can fly through the sky. Mm -hmm. He can rescue this little girl. He's just being an asshole. When the, the evil landlord kidnaps him and ties him up on a pool table for some reason, <laughs> then he also sleeps on another pool table by yeah, him. I don't why know why. The pool table? Yeah, this guy owns apartments. He must have his own bed. But, but for no reason, the purple people eater waits till morning to untie itself and even try to escape this. It's just like, it seems like it's really easy. It's just like, oh, maybe I should try to escape. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I didn't really want to. I didn't want to save everyone, but I guess I will. <laughs> Good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think Little Richard really was like on the hunt for this thing. <laughs> he was the evil alien that was chasing him. Well, I think he's, he's the alien good bounty alien. <laughs> The purple people eater is the evil one, let's oh, be honest okay. here. This is, we would think that little Richard's the bad alien, yeah. but it turns out that the purple people eater does mm. not eat purple people, because that's a dumb thing to say. He actually eats yeah. people. He's a hero, and I don't know, maybe somewhere in the background of Braxis is there still looking for a personality. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's trying to hunt this purple people eater. They find purple people eaters uh, cookbook, How to Cook 40 Humans. <laughs> This is a hilarious movie. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen it twice now. We're like laughing like near tears. <laughs> it's a dumb baby movie for babies. It's barely edited together. This it, is the It barely wants to follow anyone's plots. Like Neil Patrick Harris, oh, he loves uh, animals. He's got like a goose. Uh, who cares? 
Whatever. Easter the goose. Yeah, Easter the goose. <laughs> I'm sure he looks back on this very fondly. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Doogie Hauser, what the fuck ever? It's all about purple people, Peter. <laughs> My finest work. <laughs> Uh, Neil Patrick Harris, if you're watching this, and I know you are, uh, can you record a video saying that? <laughs> Grandpa, what's it like to die? Well, I think I'm all purple people eatered out. <laughs> me too. Sure seems dumb to me. Yeah. <laughs> Remarkably dumb, poorly edited, amazing. <laughs> 10 out of 10, go yeah. check it out, it's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> 